what is going on guys this is the game hunter another episode of star commander empire and in this episode let's talk about the current stage of the game i know i've been reading some of the comments fellas in the previous videos about what is going on with the game some people are getting aggravated that is losing balance um to be quite honest between the desert operation and the forest operation i feel like uh, something is getting out of control i mean i really love the fact that the for example the short troopers have 30% more damage and health in planets like Takodana. But 150? It's kind of like too much. And that is my personal opinion, okay? If you guys are not agree, please post in the commentary section and let me know why you're not agreeing with me. Which is fine, right? We need to have a discussion. But like I say, uh, so many people were saying, why do I need to unlock the top net marksman, right? I mean, it's not that great. The idea of the unit is great, right? You can snipe droid decas. Which is, sounds like an interesting idea. But the problem is that the Sun Troopers, for example, are way too powerful. 150. I think my current Sun Troopers are like 154 or 53% extra in damage and health. And that is a lot. And that is the problem. Because the Togonet, I mean, why do, I, why do I need to get crazy trying to unlock a unit that is. Probably it's gonna go down super fast, okay? You need to have a really high level marksman in order to bring down some high level Troidecas. So, what is the idea? I don't know, I mean, it, it is cool, it looks amazing. I love the fact that they're adding, adding new troops to the game, but, all right, too many elite troops, but the problem is that units like uh, Stormtroopers are just completely destroying the game. Let's take a look to the Tognap Marksman, because the stats of the Tognap Marksman it looks okay. It's a sniper, so the range is great. Ten tiles. I like that. That's like a, the heavy cannon. The problem is that in order to bring down Doridekas, uh, probably level 10 and up, you need a really decent marksman. Otherwise, this guy's gonna take, I don't know, a couple shots and probably, probably, it's gonna go down before you even take down the Doridekas. So that is one of the issues. This is an elite unit. They're supposed to be super cool, super amazing. People, I, I, I want to see everybody getting super excited about, oh, there's a new unit in Star Wars Commander. Uh, but that is not the case right now. Because if we take a look to the Sun Troopers, and that is the problem. 156 bonus in damage and health is probably too much. I mean, if we're going to have like a special event, okay, cool. Let's do like 100% extra damage for just during the event for a couple of days or something like that. Maybe a week or two weeks. But uh, permanently leaving this troop with 156% in this case is probably too much. If we take a look to the short troopers, same case. 156% extra damage and also health. I was really hoping that the bonus for the sand troopers is just going to be during the desert operation. But uh, no, the, the, the bonus is still there. And I think that is what they need to tweak, just to tweak a little bit. How about if we leave those troops like I'm 50% extra damage and health? I think it's good. I think it's a well-balanced suggestion. If you have any other suggestion, please post in the commentary section. And please don't even get me started about the heavy sun troopers. Those guys are just ridiculous. They wreck down every single base that they come across. And I believe that is something that they have to change also in the game. Just to give you an example how easy a unit can lose value. For example, right now, this is the forest operation company in Dandoin. Uh, look at this. Okay, you have to be in Ultra Chrome, you know, to unlock a new level of the Tognac Marksman. But I found a lot more interesting to get some fragment for the TX-225. That's a problem. I was supposed to feel encouraged to go and unlock the new unit and get some fragment for the Marksman. But in this case, I really prefer to just stay in three between the actually Obsidian. If I get to Obsidian, I'm fine. Because I think I need like a 10 more fragments in order to unlock the TX-225. And again, that is like a little issue in the game. The other problem that I'm experiencing right now is doing the heroic defense. If you're on a planet like a Danduin or Urkut, you're going to get destroyed by those heavy rebel sand troopers or whatever the name is. It's just, it's just too much. Those guys with that bonus in 150% in damage and health, it's just ridiculous. So for me... At this point, I don't even waste my time 
with the heroic defense. I prefer to go and do attacks and trying to rank up as much as possible in the conflict, but uh, I don't think there is any, any incentive for me to do the heroic defense because, first of all, the crates that we receive are not the best. Okay, there's nothing really amazing about it. And you pretty much need to spend alloy fixing the traps. You need to recruit your heroes again. Sometimes you need to call one more time for reinforcements. So um, there is a chance that you can also lose your droid deck. So right now, heroic defense, we got to fix that, guys. Because, like I say, for example, in Dan doing, if I'm getting a type of those sand troopers, some, I, I don't remember what is the name of the rebel units, but... If you are a rebel and you get into one of the heroic defense and somebody attack you with some sand troopers or heavy sand troopers, goodbye. All right, let's go to one attack using the Sam Troopers. You guys can see how powerful they are. Way, way, way too powerful. All right, we're going to start here with a Elite ATAT. Probably Gamorreans. Hey, Gamorreans not a bad idea. Why not? I like the piggies. Some Troopers, which they're going to probably destroy a big chunk of this base. But let's see how far we can get in this one. Hold on a second. I was feeling way too comfortable and confident. But things can get wrong or go wrong. Super fast. All right, let's just bring down one of those things. Just to make sure that this is entertaining. Uh, sniper, probably no, but a much more some troopers. Let's add more some troopers. But the some troopers are so overpowered. <laughs> They're so overpowered. Little pig is in front, having so much fun. In the meantime, the elite ATAT is just destroying the shield generators. So, to be quite honest, right now I see myself using some troopers more than anything. It's just some troopers and the lead ATT or maybe Darth Vader. That is a problem because the idea is to mix, right? The idea is to have the opportunity. Where is the little spot? Is it a spot in there? No? Okay. The idea is to have some balance. So we have options. I really want to use the ATST, for example, but it's not even worth it. That stuff goes down in one shot, one rocket shot. Why am I going to waste my time with a troop like that? Okay, we already have two stars in this one. I'm not doing anything special. I'm not even planning. I'm not even thinking in this attack. I'm just deploying the Elite ATAT, a couple Sun Troopers, and the Sun Troopers are taking care of everything. And this is during the conflict. And the other problem, probably you guys noticed, when I was searching for this battle, it took me forever. It took me forever to find a decent base. Why? I don't know. That is exactly what happened in the previous conflict when I was, uh, yeah, in Dandruin 2 when I unlocked the the marksman. For the last hour, I couldn't find any battle. The hour before, I didn't find any decent base. So I was just fighting against those level 1 bases which are kind of not useful at all because it's only giving me like a hundred uh, points for the conflict, even less sometimes. So, I don't know. I'm a big supporter of the game, okay? That's why I have more than 200 episodes between the Rebels and the Empires. I'm not bashing the game at all, but I have to be fair. I'm reading your comments, guys, and that's what I'm going to try to approach the developers and see if we can find something, something in between. Let's go to the forums. They have a forum, too. I think it's StarWarsCommander.com. Let's go over there and try to talk and try to find a way to... Bring the game back to life because I love the game. I love all the new units. We have more Star Wars movies coming in the future. So there is plenty, plenty of content that we can create and the game can also provide to the followers. I mean, us, the gamers. But the problem is that we need to find some kind of balance, right? That is my opinion. If you have a different opinion, please post in the commentary section. Fellas, this is the Game Hunter. Another episode, Star Wars Commander Empire. I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to follow me on Beam that Pro. Link is going to be in the description of this video. I'm going to be doing some Star Wars live stream. We're going to play some Star Wars Force Arena, Star Wars Commander, and also Galaxy of, Gal Gal Galaxy of Heroes. <laughs> see you in the next one. Take care, guys.